What's up guys, Hong Lee in here for OG Fitness. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about why BJJ uh, is excellent for grapplers or people who wanna start grappling at 40 or who are transitioning out of uh, some crazy uh, grappling arts, like for example, wrestling and judo or sambo or you know some craziness, okay? So, cause we talked about, I talked about in the video I'm actually uploading right now, how, um, you know, it's uh, how to ease into judy, judo in your 40s, right? But if you've never done any grappling before, okay, like BJJ is actually a great place to start. And the reason why is because, well, you're on the ground. So if you're on the ground, there's, there's no falling involved. I mean, there probably will be a little bit if you jump guard and stuff, or if you guys practice like takedowns, but I mean, it's not the same kind of impact that you would get, you know, starting off uh, with judo. You know, even wrestling, I mean, they're twisting and slamming each other, double leg takedowns, really, really explosive stuff, you know. So, I mean, there's a reason why they say wrestling is a young man's game. And uh, I'm pretty sure they say that about judo too, right? Uh, not a lot of guys uh, my age, you know, so I'm 41. They don't, they don't start like judo at this age, you know, like they... If they're doing judo at this age, it's because they've been doing it for a while already, you know? So they're just uh, continuing. And of course, they uh, they know how to pace themselves. They take their time and all that. That's why BJJ, like if you're a older older man or woman and you want to start uh, grappling, right? Because you heard it's super good for self-defense and it's, you know, it's, it's just different. I mean, it's not for everybody. Grappling is, um, a lot of people don't like it because it's very, you know, touchy-touchy in a sense, you know, like you're very close. But I mean, that's, you don't even think of that kind of stuff if you have issues with that for whatever reason. I mean, when you're fighting, you're fighting. So you're, you know, you're more worrying about getting, getting choked out than anything else, right? And arm barred and, and whatnot. So jujitsu, amazing, amazing. If you're, uh, if you're a little bit older and you want to get, get into a martial art, uh, but you're, you know, me, you're tired of uh, doing kickboxing or anything striking because, you know, maybe you're, you're tired of, you know, your nose is starting to get all busted up. You don't like the concussions, you know, like you're starting to have headaches or whatnot, but you still want to practice some martial art. Jiu-Jitsu is really, really good. Uh, and that's the thing. You're on the ground, okay? So it's safer. And at the same time, okay, it's, it's easier to learn the techniques because you're on the ground and uh, you don't have to balance. You don't have to coordinate your upper body, your lower body, your footwork, your pushing, your pulling, and uh, and all that. So you actually pick it up much, much, much faster than judo. Okay, judo, I mean, here's the thing. As you get older too, your brain, like, uh, there's such a thing as neuroplasticity. It's not as flexible anymore. You don't, you don't like, you know, you don't, uh, you don't absorb the information as fast. You don't learn as fast as, uh, as when you're when you're a kid, right? That's why you have a big, big advantage when, when you start off anything really early in life because you just have that on your side and you have time, right? And you're younger, you know, you have less fear because you know you're you're not uh, you haven't been traumatized yet, so to speak. <laughs> so that's why, like Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, you know, as much as we want to argue, like oh, you know, BJJ, Judo, blah, 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 they're they're both great. They're really both great. I actually started in. Uh, in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu at the age of 30, 30, 3 0, right? And I did that for about six years. And then I transitioned off to judo, which is kind of retarded because usually it's the opposite. People start judo, then at one point they get tired of judo. It's hard on the body. They're, you know, the injuries accumulate, the knees go, the, the shoulders go, uh, the ankles, the lower back, and all that. So then, but, you know, they love the art. And they already have a very good, solid foundation, you know, with the gi, the gripping, the this, the that. They they already have, um, uh, how do you say, a ground game, right? A adapted, of course, their ground game isn't exactly the same as as BJJ because BJJ, you all, you got five minutes to be fighting on the ground or more depending on what belt, what competition. Whereas in judo, it's like you fall and, you know, you got about five seconds to get something done if you're lucky, right? So it's, it's a different approach, but I mean... Jiu-Jitsu actually comes from Judo. So that being said, it's just that the, the Gracies, they, they brought it to another level, right? Like they really 
um, put a lot of nuance to it and they, they developed it into uh, where you couldn't even call it, uh, you know, Niwaza anymore. You had to call it Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And uh, it was highly adapted back in the days for really self defense fighting. If you guys watch the first UFCs and all that. So it's a, it's a great, great, great place to start. Like, honestly, um, if you're 40 and over, okay, and you, you never done grappling before and you want to get into grappling, BJJ is the best place to start is really the best place to start because listen you won't get hurt you give your, you give your body time to adapt to moving you know uh your musculature and everything i mean like you have to give yourself time right build up to it and of course what i always recommend because i'm, I'm also a trainer that's what i do for a living right is that you gotta lift weights you gotta stay in shape it's not enough just to do jujitsu jiu- Okay, it's actually it's not enough to just do a one only one thing, you know, when it comes to sports or martial arts or combat. Like you have to lift weights behind it, right? You have to do some conditioning work and all that so that you know you're you you could uh, you can bulletproof your body so you can practice uh, the sport more and avoid injuries too. So in uh, in BJJ, like that's the fun thing. You're on the ground, the techniques are easier to learn. I'm not relatively easy compared to to, to to judo right and it's fun it's fun it, it's such a great release you can go 100 percent. you still have to be careful though but the chances of injuries are are much much you know lower than uh than uh than judo or wrestling or any any crazy ass uh grappling sport that you know tends to be in the olympics let's say okay so that being said super fun I recommend BJJ for anybody who's starting off. And once you start getting into it, right, and it's been a little while, it's been maybe three months, six months, and you're lifting weights, you're getting in shape, then after that, yeah, you should definitely look into judo because there's a lot you can learn from judo, right? Like the judo guys who come to BJJ, they have such a tremendous advantage in terms of strength, in terms of gripping strategy, in terms of explosiveness, in terms of... um, you know, they, it, like they do, they really do have an advantage. They have like a, a head start, you know? So then, but unless your instructor has a judo background, right? I, and, and you know, like, which is usually really great, but usually they tend to do, they tend more to have a wrestling background, right? They, they wrestle and they do a Brazilian jiu-jitsu for the takedowns and all that. Um, but, you know, if, if, you're, um, if your coach actually, your BJJ coach actually uh, knows judo and he can show you some stuff and it's really interesting. But I always find that they don't put enough emphasis on, you know, the kumikata and the uh, the uchikomis, right? The, uchiko, the kumikata is the gripping part. So gripping strategy, knowing how to grip, break grips and all that. And after that, they don't show enough of uh, uchikomi where, you know, you're just you're practicing the entries, whether it be pulling the opponent towards you or pushing him away and then, you know, pulling them up and then doing I mean that in itself you'd have to go to a pure judo club so now if you're really lucky though then you have a jiu-jitsu club that offers judo classes like pure judo classes you know like for adults beginner beginner adults so that would be the best scenario but of course if uh, if that's not the case and um, uh, you you start with Brazilian jiu-jitsu get your body adapted first lift weights right to, to get yourself nice and strong and then from there, you should definitely look into judo and uh, maybe take a class or two uh, during, you know, because when guys do jiu-jitsu, the, the fun thing with jiu-jitsu is also that you can train uh, five, t- four times, six times a week. Always recommended to take at least a day off, right? But I mean, you can train, uh, like I said, four, six times a week and the impact isn't that too bad. You can pace yourself, you're on the floor, it's less dynamic, you know, it's, it's, it's more predictable. Uh, you know, so and it's, it's not hard on the body where when you're older and you try to do like, man, judo, you do three times a week of hard judo and you're going to die, man. It's going to it's going to be so hard on your body. You're going to accumulate fatigue and you're going to get injured. You know, like I've been doing judo for now for five years and I find that two hard sessions a week of judo. That's all you need, man. That's all you need. Of course, your progression will be a little bit slower. But hey, at least you know you you won't get uh, you won't get all busted up. Now, if you do, uh, if you want to do more sessions of that, then you can obviously. But just make them like lighter sessions, right? Like like stay out of the stay out of the randories. 
uh, for example, you know, on your first session. Okay. And then just ideally it's safer actually to go with black belts because they're less spazzy and they won't hurt you. They'll, 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 they're able to hold back, uh, in judo and hell, even for BJJ. So you see, start off with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Okay. That way your body has time to adapt your joints, lift weights. So you get stronger, you know, focus a lot on the shoulders, the back, the legs, the core, anti-rotation exercises. Right. And after that, when you can, then you start to, uh, to, to study judo because it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna complement your game so much. If you understand what you call me, if you understand, um, how to unbalance somebody, tripping somebody, leg sweeps, if you understand how to, um, um, off balance, oh, what was the other thing I was going to say, but there's a lot to it, the gripping and everything, you know, it's, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful art, but if you're, older you're starting this later on in life jiu-jitsu first give it some time da -da 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 -da, and after that judo so you could do technically like if you have the time you could do two, two judo sessions or even just one to begin with right but a real like judo club class for adults right and then from there you could do your jiu-jitsu the rest of the time now you still gotta lift weights though so uh that's for another topic how to integrate weightlifting into your um, into your program, right? Into your, 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 your training, uh, uh, frequency, like, because you can't be lifting weights four times a week, training jujitsu five times a week, then judo once a week. Like it's a little bit much. You have to build up to that kind of, uh, volume, right? Especially when you're starting off. So that's it for this video, but J J BJJ, it's great. It really is for people who want to get back in shape, get into grappling, learn a self-defense that actually works, right? And of course you have to, it has to be slightly adapted for, for, for self-defense purposes, because some schools are very, um, how do you say it, uh, sports oriented, but that's okay. I mean, who cares? You're gonna, you just have to think about it. Common sense. You'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. Watch some of my videos. You know, I, I we discuss a lot about this, uh, in this, uh, in this community. So that's it guys. BJJ. I love BJJ. And of course, um, <clears throat> You know, I, I actually went through a, a um, at first I loved, B, I swore only by BJJ, but I was always fascinated with judo. Then after that, ran out of money, got recruited, started doing judo. Fell in love with judo, swore by judo, said BJJ, ah, you know, whatever, blah, 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 you know. But then with time, you realize they're both good. If you could learn both of them, learn both of them. That's the end of that. That's it. It's just going to make you a better overall grappler with a gi, right? And um, funny thing is, I actually, man, I forgot the story I was going to tell, but it was something to do with me, uh, jiu jitsu, and then after that, judo. And then, anyways, never mind. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like the video, uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, help me grow this community. And uh, so I could, you know, share more, spend a lot more time sharing content and win this whole quarantine is over with, then I'm going to talk to my coach, my a new club that I'm into, where my coach actually introduced me to this club, where a co the sensei coach there, he trusts us 100% for my evolution because my coach doesn't have his own club, right? He just, he used to give courses at this club and he, then we, that club closed down, we switched clubs and after that we're, we're, we're here now because uh, it's a better place for me, for my evolution, right? I'll be surrounded by, by competitors, you know? Uh, guys who are very serious about judo and at the same time the, uh, the coach really does know what he's doing there you know he was in the olympics and all that so uh i'll keep you guys uh posted with that i'm gonna train show you guys videos when it's time and uh that's it for this one guys so click on the notification bell just get notified when i when i put up a video and i'm really sorry about the lighting because it's, it's kind of, it's nighttime right now right and and my my light here is uh what is it it's uh, it's it's not lead, you know. It's it's more orangey, so that's why it color sucks. It looks kind of weird. I'm working on that. I'm gonna make these videos uh, work on the quality as I go along. So oh, that's it. But you know, like uh, you know, I rather pump out content and talk to you guys and and make videos. That's my strong point. But I know I'm gonna have to work on the whole quality thing uh, as I go along and maybe a little bit harder than than I do now. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Peace.